Welcome once again at Al Ahli Online TV English News. I'm Yumna Atwa at Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium to get you the top weekly news of the Club of the Century. So let's start with the headlines. Benun Afsha power Al Ahli to victory in Alexandria. Musimani, we had a good game against Al Tahad. Al Ahli lost to Ghazli Al Mahalla 1 to 0. Al Ahli's board asked EFA to appoint foreign referees in our upcoming games. Al Ahli Stadium, the long awaited dream finally comes true. Al Ahli defeated Al Ittihad of Alexandria Club 2 to 1 on Thursday night in the 20th week of the Egyptian Premier League at Alexandria Stadium. Better Benoun opened the score from the spot in the opening five minutes of the second half. Five minutes later, Afsha doubled the score to secure the victory despite conceding a late goal by Muhammad Sabahi. Al Ahli returned from Alexandria with three vital points ahead of Cairo Derby, scheduled on 10th of May. We had reached 40 points and we come second in the league table, four points ahead the leaders, but we still have two games in hand. Musimani commented on Al Tahad game by saying that we had a good game against Al Tahad. We scored two goals and we were able to add more goals. We played good games in the previous period, but we failed to win them, so it's an important victory. Yasser played a good game and we didn't need to take him out. However, Ayman needed to take some playing game to prepare more for the upcoming matches against Zimalek and Memilodi Sundowns. Also, Muhammad Sharif did not start against Al Tahad for technical reasons related to the overwhelmed schedule that we are following. Unfortunately, we conceded a goal, but thankfully, it didn't affect the overall result of the game. Al Ahli's football first team lost to Ghazli Mahalla 1 to 0 in the 19th fixture of the Egyptian Premier League. Both sides looked to seal the opening goal in the early minutes of the encounter, but they were unable to do so. In Mahalla took advantage of playing at home when they managed to score the winning goal in the 35 minutes of the game by Ashraf Sayed. Our players tried to equalize the score at the end of the first half, but they were faced by the opponent's solid defense. The current title holders, Al Ali, continued the hunt to level the score in the second half, but our chances were not enough to equalize the result. Al Ali Sporting Club's Board of Directors sent an official letter to the Egyptian Football Association EFA calling for the appointment of foreign referees to all of our upcoming games. In addition to that, the club wants to know the reasons behind playing several opponents twice in the league, while we still haven't faced Aswan and Mesul Makassa in the first half of the season. After facing Al Ittihad of Alexandria Club, we will then play Zamalek in the Cairo Derby before taking part in the match on May 15 in the quarter-finals of the CAF Champions League. On top of that, referees have been committing unprecedented errors against our team in the league, which negatively impacted the outcome of more than one game in the competition. The 1st of May 2021 will go down in history as the day that witnessed the laying of the foundation stone of the future Al Ahli Stadium. Mahmoud Al Khatib, the club's president, and Al Ahli's board members laid the foundation stone of the club's stadium, taking a new promising step in our 114 years of history. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News. From Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium, I'm Yumna Atwa. See you next week.